think one of the most important parts about making any palette project is determining which pieces of wood you're going to use for which part of the project. Mostly I try to sort them into nice, straight, strong pieces like this that will be used for the structure of the project. And then I look for pieces that are going to be on the visible parts of the project, say the top and especially the sides. So what I'm looking for there is boards that have a lot of character to them, like this one with the knot hole, or this one that's all split would be perfect for the back of the cabinet. I think it's a lot of fun to work with the wood and highlight all of the defects and splits and knot holes and nail holes, rather than trying to convince the wood to be something it's not. I'm going to use my router to straighten out some of these edges so that I can glue them up as panels. I'll square up these edges using my split fence on my router table. This one I've shimmed forward slightly so that it acts as a jointer. So when I run this through, I'll keep all of the pressure of the wood against this fence. That gives me nice square edges to glue these together. I'm lightly sanding these pieces, not so much where it loses all of its character though. For the towel bar, I'm going to drill shallow three quarter inch holes. Now I can glue everything together and I drew some lines where the shelves are going to go so I can line everything up properly. I'm going to use this fantastic looking board for the doors. I just want to clean off some of the dirt. Making the pieces for the back is going to be fun because I'm just going to use all different widths. Well, it actually took me quite a while to cut the pieces down and to determine which ones I wanted to use, which ones would fit in there nice. An authentic, rustic look actually takes a lot of work. <laughs> I'm gonna glue and nail these to the back. I cut these three top boards and they're gonna overhang an inch all the way around except in the back. I like this piece that has the holes bored into it from some sort of insect. And this piece that has this great knot hole over here. This dowel looks too new, so I'm going to rough it up a little. I'm going to apply a few coats of spar urethane to protect it from moisture. I have some of these shaker pegs that I just cut off and put into some holes to use as door pulls. I'll use this little magnetic latch for the doors. These are steel strap hinges that I've painted black. I drilled some holes in the back of this and I'll screw this directly into the studs of my bathroom wall. Well, I hope you enjoyed this project. I think pallet projects are a lot of fun, especially if you're a new woodworker because it's free wood and you don't have to be as exacting about the woodworking. And if you're an experienced woodworker, Palette projects give you an opportunity to look at woodworking a lot differently than you're used to. Check the description for free plans to this project and you can check my website for lots of other plans. And don't forget, they're all free. Thank you for being a part of and for supporting free online woodworking content. I especially want to thank all of my subscribers over at Subbable.com who help support Woodworking for Mere Mortals every month. Don't forget to check out the wood shop Bay. If you haven't checked it out lately, there's a few new t-shirts on there. Remember, it's t-shirts just for woodworkers. If you enjoy this program, there's more like it. I have new woodworking videos every Friday. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week.